world is covered in ice. Our whole world. Whoa! <laughs> so slippery. It's so slippery. Definitely not good for driving. Bad driving condition. Stay at home. We're not staying at home, but we'll be careful. Even the garbage can's shut. It's covered in ice. I've always wanted to do this. I want to feel like the Hulk. I am strong like Hulk. Yes. Oh my god, this is fun. <laughs> but I'm sliding away. Wait. Okay. It's so sliding. <laughs> Are you even opening the door though? No, it's like I'm having some difficulties. I can't even open my car. That's how much ice there is everywhere. It rained last night and then it froze as it was raining. And as a result, the whole car is covered in a layer of ice, as you can see. If anyone wants to have a cocktail party, we have plenty of ice for you. Okay, here we go. Yes, success. I'm being very careful not to fall. It's so slippery everywhere. All of the trees are covered in icicles and it looks so pretty. Take a look at this. I love that crunching noise. Check out this bike. Nobody's riding that today. This is gonna be Sia's new invention. I always try and invent stuff, but usually it's not that good. So. That's not true. This is windshield washer fluid that is made to withstand minus 40 degrees. Today's probably like what? Minus 15? No, no way. It's probably like minus three. It's not that cold. I guess. Um, because it rained last night, right? That's why there's all this ice. Yeah. But I put this windshield washer fluid, which doesn't freeze, and usually you spray your windows with it. I put it in the spray bottle and now I'm going to try and spray all the windows of my car and wait five minutes and see if it dissolves. I can already hear it cracking. I am hoping. You can hear it. You can hear it cracking. Listen. Working, hopefully. Can't walk. Look, I just keep slipping. <laughs> so apparently, 250,000 people in Toronto are powerless and that's supposed to go on for the next 72 hours so it's gonna be a lot of people having a dark Christmas but it could be kind of nice we still have power I kind of wish we didn't because it's fun and uh, I don't know Christmas with candles everywhere would be really nice but I mean we can still do that but it's not as fun when you absolutely don't have power and there's no way you can turn on a light but I guess there is a plus because we can use Everything that uses electricity and cook and our fridge is full and things aren't gonna go bad. I've been hearing a lot of fire trucks and ambulances and police cars this morning and afternoon, so hopefully everyone is okay. Uh, how's it working for you, your invention? Uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Now, uh, now I just gotta 
crack the ice a little bit. trees froze to us. This is my old street, guys. Oh my god. Every tree on my old street has fallen and on the street. But the whole street is working together to help everyone and some some trees have fallen on houses and they're helping each other to I guess take it off the house. Hopefully there's not too much damage done. This is absolutely insane. Not one tree is standing, I swear. At least one little branch is broken off. We are now on Sia's parents' street and it's pretty bad as well. I'll take a look. Oh my. <laughs> At the same time, it's so beautiful. Wow, this is terrible, man. Are you sad? My tree! What happened? It's gone! I thought Toronto was bad. Brampton is a lot worse. It, I, Mother Nature, you are crazy. My tree, this is my childhood. This is my safe place. This is where I went when I was upset or I was sad. And now it's half gone. Just memories. We are on our way to Pearson Airport to pick up Sia's sister Neva from Indonesia. She lives there now, she's teaching. And she, I think she's been gone for six months, maybe? Five or six and she hasn't told anybody except us that she is coming home. So we're gonna surprise Sia's parents. And we told them that we're off uh, to get a piece, a piece to finish the, their Christmas present, um, Hanukkah gift. And uh, so that's what they think that we're doing right now. Little do they know that they're gonna get an even bigger surprise. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chime. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to Canada! Thank you! She's here! Hello! How are you? I'm good! <laughs> good to see you too! It's not even going to work, but I'll show you guys when you have electricity and it'll be more exciting. We can just okay. show them how to use it. Just you are thinking about us, that's exciting. You can sit here, Kristen, and, and I can have a surprise. Oh my God! <laughs> I had a dream, I went to work and I came home and you were here. 
He said, no, mom, I can't. I don't have it. I said, you are lying to me. Oh, my God. I hope it was worth the wait. <laughs> Now you made me cry. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no, get away! <laughs> I knew you could. Hey! I know my fault. What do you mean? You had a dream, just like. It's only been six months. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's, a, that's <laughs> the best, best, uh. best gift you give me. Thank you, Sia. Thank you, Chris. You give me. <laughs> Although a lot of power has gone out in many homes, I really love that many people opened who did have power opened up their houses to people who didn't, and the whole community was just working with each other to get rid of the branches that had fallen on the road and maybe on someone's car or house, and it's just nice to walk outside and see neighbors talking and helping each other. It's just nice to see a sense of community and people helping each other and opening up their homes to each other. I will see all you beautiful people later.